Hello again. What we have here is a zone screwing cylinder that was removed from a job. Um, this is the same cylinder that I used to um, rake on a previous video, but I wanted to show it's being opened with the uh, Yale five pin leashy copy. And just wanted to talk through the process of uh, opening this. So I'm going to apply a gentle pressure, gentle tension to there. And then I'm just going to check that I've got access to all the pin chambers. So pin one, two, three, four, and five are all available. So we know that we can pick this lock using this tool. So a little bit of gentle tension, and we're going to go through the picking process. So starting with pin one, which is, I can feel it's binding. So I'm going to push down on pin one. And we've, I've got a click there. Um, and I'm just seeing whether that is giving me any feedback on that pin, whether or whether it needs to be pushed down further. Let's try going down a little bit further. And it's just clicked a second time. Now I've got the set bounce on it. And also the core rotated very slightly. So um, let's just reset that second because this could easily trip you up when you push down and it gives you a, uh, a first click there. That first click is the pick actually um, navigating its way through the warding on the lock. There's a second pick, a second um, click and you could arguably think that's been set, but actually it's not given any bounce on the, uh, on the pick, um, on the pick arm there. And so if we push it down further, there's another click, the core's just rotated and I've now got the bounce on the bottom. So we can al almost guarantee a hundred percent that pin one is where it needs to be. So let's try two, two is binding. So I'm going to push down. Uh, I'm going to take the tension off a little bit. Obviously with the core rotating, it's, it's uh, rotated a little bit. It's pinching these pins. I'm pushing down. I'm gently, gently releasing the pressure on the, uh, on the, on the arm. There we go. So we've just got a click there again. It's not giving me that deflection that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go down a little bit further. Okay, there's a second click. And now you can see we're getting that deflection. So we've got it on one and we've got it on two. Let's go to pin three. Pin three is not really binding. Pin four is not binding and pin five isn't binding. So they're all just bouncing around. So what that tells me is that pin two is probably overset. Let's push it down a little bit more, see what happens. Okay, so, so what's happened is it's gone beyond where it needs to be. Um, and now the plug has uh, straightened up and everything else that should be binding isn't binding anymore. Even pin one's bouncing. So what I've done is I've overset pin two. It's quite obvious. You can see that all these different pin stacks are just bouncing around freely nothing's binding so i'm going to back the um, tension off a little bit see whether we can get pin two there we go you, i don't know whether you saw that but pin two just bounced back up again so one is still set let's go back down for two okay so we had one click out of two i'm going to leave it there now i'm going to go to pin three pin three is binding there's a click on pin three I've got that set bounce. That's good. <clears throat> so one rotation on the core again, two is set, three is set, four is bound, bound up. Let's just take the tension off a little bit. 
see whether we can get four to set itself without dropping anything. There we go. Okay. And now I've got a really big movement on the core, which would suggest that we're now just hanging on pin five. So pin five is, is bound really tight. I'm going to push him down, push him down. I'm getting a bit of counter rotation there. Keep pushing him down. Okay, one click out of five, nothing's happened. Let's go for a second click. Okay, that's gone too far. Let's go back through the lock. Pin one is set. Pin two is set. Pin three is set. Four is set. And this time we'll see if we can get five without oversetting it. Just a little bit more tension. There we go. And we've got the lock. So we had a bit of a mixed bag there. Um, pins resetting, dropping, things oversetting. What you do when they're overset is obviously remember where the other pins have set. And then uh, obviously you can go back to those fairly quickly. But uh, anyway, so that's that zone opened using the uh, the five pin um, Yale Lishy copy. Okay. Hope that helps.